Okay, so I'm at, I solved all these problems and it took me about an hour. Uh, it was fun, but uh, rather than walk you through kind of the whole process of me going through each of these problems, you know, puzzle by puzzle, I'm just going to kind of walk through the solution here and, um, you know, I'll leave markers uh, and the, you know, timestamps for each, for each section. So feel free to skip ahead, uh, you know, full on spoiler alert, this is solving the puzzles. So if you are having trouble, you know, watch this video and here they are solved. Uh, I'm not going to really read through the, the puzzle books. I'm just going to kind of go straight to the puzzle solution and then show you what it looks like to plant the tree at the end. Okay, so ultimately we are finding six codes and these six codes are going to be filled in on this puzzle sheet over here and they will map to numbers and then we'll create a message, read the message, and that will tell us where to plant the tree. So the first part is uh, we need to decrypt the hunter's language. So I will show you how to do this. So to do this, basically what we do is we start here at this uh, circled uh, icon, which is a one, which maps over here to a one. And so our first number is one. Then we follow the spear to the right to this number. And this number is going to be a six. So the second number is six. Then we follow the spear back to the left. So the third number is one. Follow the spear up. So that's here. That is going to be a four. Follow the spear to the right. That's here. That is going to be a two. Follow the spear right again. So that's here. That is going to be a five. Follow the spear left. That's here. That's going to be a two again. And follow the spear down. And that's here. And that is going to be a six again. So our first numbers are one six, one four, two five, two six. So let's go to the next puzzle. Next puzzle. Uh, there's there, there are actually two ways of solving this. So I'm going to show you the the way that the puzzle is intended to be solved, and I'm going to show you sort of a, a, a cheap way. So the way the puzzle is intended to be solved is looking at this number. So we we're trying to basically find the date on which uh, the Pollard Jr. sold whales, and they caught one fin whale, one sperm whale, and a great whale. So basically what we need to do is we need to find the price paid for one of each whale. Well, we're given immediately that this type of whale is 2,000. And here we have one of these whales and two of these whales sold for 5,200. So that's 2,000 plus two times the price of these, while the delta here is 3,200. So that means each of these is worth 1,600. And then we're given here that we caught two new whales, these two, plus the yesterday's catch, which is this, for 3,400. So this is thir this whale is 1,600. So the delta is 1,800 for each of these two whales, for both of these two together. So that means that a single one of them is 900. So that means that we are looking for $2,000 for one of these whales plus 1,600 for one of these whales, plus 900 for one of these whales. And the sum total here is going to be $4,500, giving us a date of November 12th. However, as I indicated, there is sort of a cheap way of doing this, which is to notice that the sum of the boxes is 56, right? And we know that the date is 1896. So 18 plus 9 plus 6 is 33. And 56 minus 33 is 23. So we have 23 left to work with. So because the dates are all either November or December, we can either be November 12th, because 11 plus 12 is 23, or December 11th, because 12 plus 11 is 23. However, December, 12, December 11th is not on the date list. So that means we know that the correct date is November 12th. So those are the two ways that we can solve the second puzzle to get November 12th. So let's move on. So the, the next puzzle we need to do is to orient ourselves the way <coughs> of Herman McMillan. And we go down here and we see that, okay, about to get really rich, blah, 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 follow this path. So we have a downward, air, a downward triangle that's not filled in, a downward triangle filled in, an upward triangle filled in, and an upward triangle not filled in. 
So basically what we do is we go through all these puzzles and we find one at a time. Here's the downward triangle that's not filled in. That's pointed to 10 degrees north. And we go over here to our compass and we find 10 degrees north is pointed to a 1. Right here in the, in the center. Uh, let me just kind of highlight that for you. 10 degrees north is pointed to a 1. So that means the first number is 1. Then we're looking for a downward triangle that's filled in. Well, here we are. 190 degrees south, that downward triangle is filled in. So back to the compass, looking at 190 degrees south, we see that the second number is going to be 4, so we're at 1, 4. Third number is upward triangle, filled in. So here we have 260 degrees filled in. So 260 degrees is going to point to a 2. So we have 1, 4, 2. And the fourth number is going to be upward triangle, not filled in, which is going to refer to the ancient statue in Darkwood Forest. So we scroll back up to this picture. And if we decode that, that's going to be 300 degrees northwest. Go back to our compass. 300 degrees northwest is a 7. So 1427, if I uh, got all the numbers there correctly, we have 1427 is the clue for this part. New Argyll. So we need to find two numbers, the age of the two Norway spruce trees, whose fate is united across the centuries. So that's a bit of a clue. And each number, as you can see, is going to be uh, three digits here. And the sum of the boxes is 47. So again, that's always sort of a, a way of, uh, sort of a checksum that you can use to see if you're on the right path. All right, so what do we got here? Observation of a Norway spruce stump. So what we've got is the first number is going to be 245. That's pretty much given to us because, um, you know, the old tree that's that's dead, that's kind of, you know, the, the first clue of across the centuries is 245 years old. So that's the age, 200 is the number of tree rings. Now, the ring width is 0 0.2 centimeters. So this is the sort of European style of, of comma as a decimal separate, or as a separator between the whole number and the partial uh, fractional number. So if you consider 245 uh, rings uh, with a ring width of 0.2 centimeters, that's going to give you a uh, radius that you can use based on this formula. But the important part is to kind of piece together the rest of these clues. And you see here, uh, we've got the Norway spruce has a height of 40 to 60 meters, a trunk radius of 60 to 70 centimeters, and importantly, cannot grow by the water. So you look down here and you see, okay, well, what of these trees could possibly be a Norway spruce. So note, no tree higher than 30 meters in the NAPM zones. So that's new Argyll prepared meal. So that means this whole section can't be it because our Norway spruce trees are 40 to 60 meters. Now we can't grow by the water. So that kind of knocks out a handful of these trees here, knocks out these trees. So what's left? Well, we need a trunk radius of 60 to 70 centimeters. So that pretty much leaves only one tree that's possibly there. That's a 63 centimeter uh, radius tree. Now 63, uh, if we have ring width of 0.2, so we have 63 divided by 0 0.2, which is the same as 63 times five, which is going to give us 315. So our numbers are 245 and 315. And if you look at the, uh, oops, if you look at the boxes here, 245 is less than 315. And if you sum these boxes, just to make sure that we get a checksum, we have 29 and 18, 29 and 18 is going to be 47. So correct. Next clue, uh, that's what we just did. Sinking country. So we have a Russian spy. Uh, so there, there, there's again sort of a, a cheap way and a, a correct way of doing this. And I will confess that uh, while I was originally solving this, I didn't solve the correct way. So uh, I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to kind of look at this and see if we can figure that out together. But I'm also going to kind of walk you through the sort of cheap way if you get stuck on, for example, just, just one of these puzzles. So the, the hint here is going to be that the sum of the boxes is 62. And if you look at that, um, you'll quickly notice that these boxes 
are going to be coming from these ID numbers here on the left. So if you if you plug these ID numbers in and noting that we have 2212 and the sum of the boxes is 62. So if you start summing these up, then you're only going to find a couple of these things can possibly match. You're going to find Charlie Grantham can match and Henry Mullins can match. Uh, and let's see. So we also have some clues that we can say uh, do, 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 do. Sergeant's birthday is the night before October 20th, so that means October 19th. So that's the sergeant, Neil Smith. But he was there the whole time, so that means Neil Smith is not possibly a candidate. The cook told me he saw a blonde man sneak outside. Well, this guy's brown, so that he's not a candidate. Gray-haired, not a candidate. Brown-haired, not a candidate. Uh, so it means we've already eliminated uh, four of the possibilities. So we have Grantham, Mullins, or Bagwell. And the next clue we see is that the guy who chose the animal together at Silent Mountain the other day as a code name. Well, if we go back to the Silent Mountain page, we see a hare and a hawk. So that eliminates Bagwell. So now we're left with Grantham and Mullins as the possible two uh, candidates. And again, these, two, these numbers both sum up to sort of be correct. So the last clue here is clue equals crew plot south angel, uh, C-L-U-E. Uh, so if we look at that, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, words here. And um, honestly, somehow this is going to uh, give us the last clue. And I will tell you, I didn't actually figure this out. So if you have figured out how to decipher this part of the clue, let me know, leave a comment. Uh, I will tell you um, the way I figured this out at the end is when you go back to this page, uh, which is the kind of final uh, puzzle page, and you go to uh, clue five, and you sum these up, and you say, okay, what have we got? All of these are going to have to represent numbers, and once you've filled in all of the other boxes, there's only four numbers left that are missing uh, across the first 26 numbers. So I just looked at the two possibilities here, and I said, well, it's going to have to be the one that I haven't actually filled in. So when we get to that point, it's very easy to see what that actually ends up being. And, and I'll, I'll show you what I mean right at the end when we get to filling those numbers in. So finally, uh, we have the last code. We have paying close attention to vegetation you encountered on your adventure. So let's take a look at what this uh, what this looks like. So we have uh, different plants over here, and we have sort of a locations here, and we have the order uh, is going to be very important. Uh, get rid of that real quick. So the first is going to be the airport. So you look at the airport, which is down at the bottom, and that's going to be these Pahutu Kawas. And what we have, the clues are branches, fruits, leaves, or flowers. And it's always going to be the number. So, Pahutukawa, now what we have to do is we have to go back through all the puzzles, find these, and figure out what we're looking at for the first number. So, do, 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 we look through all these, and I believe the Pahutukawas are going to be, I think they're going to be these flowers, uh, because you can see here, the Pahutukawas, the kind of clue here is red flowers. Well, the red flowers are on these two pages, so we just count. We have one, two, three, four, whoops, uh, I wish I could figure out a good way of pointing here, but we, on this page here we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On this page we have eight, nine, and ten. So that means the first number is going to be ten. So again, back down here, uh, the second number, or the second thing is going to be Parliament, which is in the center, which is going to reference the bald cypress. Bald cypress is right here, and just count the branches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So the second number is 22. So we have 10 and 22. So uh, after the parliament is hospital, hospitals in the upper right, that's going to be Palm Royal. And so Palm Royal is going to be here, count the branches. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we have 19. And so 10, 22, 19. Uh, let's see. After hospital is golf course. Golf course is eucalyptus. Eucalyptus leaves are pasted here. How many of these do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So there you go, 17. And the last is the power plant. Power plant is in the upper, which is the Norway spruce. So we look for the Norway spruce and figure out. So here, what we are doing is counting pine cones. We have one, two, don't forget the two in the top right here uh, of the left page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. So there are the numbers and you just write them down in order on our final page. So, okay, so we've got the, uh, the, the grid here with all of our puzzle numbers. And so we can just sort of uh, fill these in. So we have one, six, one, four, two, five, two, six. And so the way we do this is we're gonna look for all instances of 16 and replace that with an L, all instances of 14 replaced with an H, 25 with a Q, 26 with a C. So for example, uh, 16 is an L here. Uh, we look for a 14 and that's an H. So something like that. So continuing, uh, we have 11, 12, 18, 9, 6. 11, 12, 18, 9, 6. Can't really write very clearly there. Uh, 1427, 1427, uh, 24, 5, 3, 15. 24, 5, 3, 15. And this is where I was talking about earlier. There were two solutions to the, um, you know, uh, hawk and hare. And you'll find that one of the solutions already had the numbers used elsewhere. And the only one that works is 21, 20, 8, 13. Again, if you figured out that puzzle, please uh, leave a comment. Uh, 10, 22, 19, 17, and 23. All right, and once you're done, the answer is going to, once you, once you fill this in like so, you can easily read the uh, message. Um, now, of course, there's no spaces, so you kind of have to try a little bit, but you can kind of start making out words in restrict, uh, restricted area one, new, Sterling Frontier, go north of Gold Digger Pass, look up to the sky, ancient ruins will guide you to the spot to plant the sacred tree. And that is how you solve the puzzle, and this is where uh, you can go, go into the game now and plant your tree. So in restricted area one, new Sterling Frontier, so that's presumably along this side here. Go north of Gold Digger Pass, look up to the sky. So here's Gold Digger Pass, new Sterling Frontier. Go north of Gold Digger Pass, look up to the sky. Ancient ruins will guide you to the spot to plant the sacred tree. Okay, so uh, let's see, here's an abandoned site. Looking to see if there are any ancient ruins over here because um, it is in restricted areas. So it's on this side of this, of this yellow border here. Um, and there might be some ancient ruins here. Uh, it could be like right there. Um, this is the gold digger pass here. So I'm gonna head over here and head west. That looks uh, promising. And um, well, I am heading west there, so great. Let's head up there to the ancient ruins. This is going to be north of the Gold Digger Pass. I'm in New Sterling, technically. Now I'm in Restricted Area 01. Could be here. 
This is interesting. I don't know. Can I crawl in this? Interesting. Now let's head up a look up look over here. These are the traces of ancient ruins. Grab uh, my skill credits. Ah, that looks to be it. Well, there's my tree that I can plant. And I'll go ahead and plant it. I've planted the seed. I should check on it later. See if it grows. Nice. Well, I have planted the seed, and I suppose I can check on it occasionally to see if it grows. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please uh, give me a like, uh, leave a comment, let me know what you thought. Feel free to subscribe, and if you haven't, go stop by Ubisoft store and um, consider, you know, buying whatever it was their gilly that uh, will make a donation, or go find the tree yourself and uh, get Ubisoft to donate fifteen. Uh, Euro pennies on behalf of planting trees. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.